yeah. show rules. I personally love it better than stand up. <laughs> I've seen comedians, I've known them for 20 years, then I see them do this, I'm like, fuck, it's a whole different thing. It's like a ball game, man. You can lose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. This show's going great. Um, trying to kill crickets. <laughs> Are you ready for the number one team set list? Of Greg Fitzsimmons! <laughs> This is a lot of pressure. Set list is painful. And you know what makes it worse is Paul Provenza is such a psycho <laughs> that what he does to push you harder is he makes, there's a cricket noise. <laughs> so that at any time you're not getting a laugh, you literally hear crickets in the room. Because it's not hard enough to spin around and pick up a, a, an absurd phrase. If you do really bad, he blows tumbleweeds across the room. Because he wants the best show he can get. But I'm glad to be here. I, um, I went to the doctor last week, and I wasn't scheduled, but I just, I've been having this thing... Um, it's, it started in a pool, which doesn't seem, how dangerous can a pool be, right? But, you know, I was, I had on a, uh, not the snorkel, the snorkel, and you're not supposed to stay down that deep with the snorkel, because, uh, you know, you, you, there's a, there's, I forget what it's called, but um, I knew it before I went down. There's... <laughs> There's a condition that, uh, oh, it's like the easiest fucking thing to remember. I can't, I don't know what's going on. I went to the doctor because I just, I'm not feeling smart since I went to the bottom of that pool. I just, I feel like my IQ's not strong. I'm finding, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy as shit. I mean... There's no correlation between how intelligent I'm feeling and the absolute joy that a, a cone of ice cream brings me. <laughs> Dream. Dream. <laughs> Dream. And in dreaming, you will find that you can succeed beyond your wildest expectations and I I lay before you tonight having dreamt and having felt the uh, the pain of not achieving any of the dreams and I want to thank the people that made that possible <laughs> United Talent Agency <laughs> representing me for the past eight years I want to collectively thank the development people in all the Viacom stations, VH1, Comedy Central, MTV. I want to thank the, uh, the people that uh, don't listen to my podcast, because it uh, seemed like a good idea. Let me invest a few hours a week and just fucking kill my social life and stress myself out. So I want to, uh, I want to thank those, those people who couldn't be bothered to download something for free. And I dream that uh, someday, actually, no, there is no someday. This is it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Here's what I really want to do is I want to get some ladies together, right? And the thing is, they got to be 18 to 21, ripe, fucking virile. And then me, one at a time, I take these ladies and I make love to them. And again, I tell my wife, this is, a, this is an experiment. This is, I am, I am, I am pro-life. And to me, there's so many demonstrations for these pro-choice bitches with their we, it's our body, and I feel like, you know what, fuck you. You can organize, so can I. I knock up a bunch of teenagers. 
I go down to uh, Beverly Drive, and we get those fat bellies out, and we walk down that street, and we look at all these whores that have killed babies in their stomachs, and we say, this is the way God meant to be. And then we go to their little car, and I see these women, and we go to the abortion clinic, and I saw a, a van, and it had the outlines of everybody in the family, the father, the mother, the two kids. And I just took a magic marker and I made an X through one of those children, and I wrote, not a good time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.